Hi, I'm Rinda. I'm Jim. We're Hardiness Approach. And we are approaching a subject that is very tender and hard to talk about. But here we go. Here we go. We're out in nature, relaxing. For four days. For four days. Uh, definitely social distancing. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of people out here. <laughs> On our last video, we talked about some fairly aggressive plans, certainly flying in the face of many of uh, a lot of the advice that many people give us about uh, slow down, you're you're trying to do too much, and we agree, everybody's right about that. And uh, you know, there, there's two sides to that. One is. If you slow down too much, you don't move, and if you don't move, you're dead. So we don't want to be there. We actually, we're doers. We're, we're, we're happiest when we're getting things done and accomplishing, uh, setting goals. Being together. Being together. Well, but Tuesday, you had an eventful day. I don't know. But he doesn't remember it. This is hard for her. Uh, I, I, um... Oh, gosh. Somebody's shooting at you. <laughs> um, for those of you who have never heard of what's called a transient global amnesia condition, uh, that's what I experienced on Tuesday. And we'll explain that a little bit. Uh, it's not, like, life-threatening. Um, it's life scary though. Um, Do you want me to tell since you don't remember any of it? Sure. <laughs> Do you want to remember it and tell? Well, I can, I can tell it from my perspective. All right. Um, I, uh, I remember some parts of Tuesday morning as we were, we got up early to go do some things at our daughter's house with, with her garden. And I remember getting there and getting out of the car. Uh, after that, it's more of a dream world. Uh, there, there may be images, you know, as I've heard later what we did, I think I remember bits and pieces of it, but I don't know. It's, it's like when you're dreaming. You know, you wake up in the morning and in fact, you have these images, maybe, that you dreamt about, you don't know. In fact, that's how he started. We knew that something was wrong, was he says, I don't know if I'm dreaming or if this is reality. And he was driving home from our daughters. <laughs> And so we had him get over. There is definitely somebody shooting Tar over Target there. practicing. Yeah, as long as they're not target practicing to us. Um, he had a totally dazed look on his face. Oh, he, I, I got him out of the driver's seat, spun him back around, we went to our daughter's home. And she's an ER nurse and I'm a nurse. And so she, she did a complete assessment on him and said, we're taking him in. She, she called, was taking me in. She was taking, she was taking him in. Well, I was staying with the babies. Yeah. She called her husband to come and relieve me. And um, we, uh, on her way down, he got worse. He couldn't, he didn't know the date. He didn't know the year. He didn't remember putting things up in the garden. I don't even know, I'll know the things he didn't remember, but it was scary enough for her that she called the hospital and told them to get ready for a stroke. Um, person coming in and by the time I got there he already had his EKG done already had his um, CT scan done and they were both really good he already had his blood work done we were waiting for the blood work and so my daughter traded places with me and because I, there could only be one, one person, person in the ER with with a patient yeah the other person had to sit in the car because of COVID-19 <laughs> And so um, I went in to be with him and he said to me, so what happened? And so I told him what happened. And a moment or two later, he said, so what happened? And when he said it the fourth time, I turned around and tears welled up in my eyes and I'm like, oh my word, what's happened? <laughs> and I, he asked that question at least 20 to 30 times and I would lovingly explain it to him each time. Um, as if it was the first time. Uh, the neurologist came in on the end of a 
at the end of the gurney on a TV screen from the University of Utah Medical Center and um, did an assessment on him with the nurse there. He said, there's good news here. Um, I'm going to diagnose it as transient global amnesia. And we had thought it was going to be transient ischemic attack. attack, which is in TIA, which can lead to a stroke later. Um, the amnesia happens uh, when people get stressed and usually when men hold it in. Well, the, there's a list of <laughs> probable causes and I, I, everything that we've read, everything that we've watched about it since then, uh, there's no way to know exactly what causes it. Uh, they can give you typical of, of the thousands or however many people they've assessed these are the conditions that surrounded it and so they draw some conclusions from that stress is one of the bigger ones stress is probably a component of all of them in one way or the other and the night before he had said he was really stressed and he said he had been dizzy which he's never anything so um, Anyway, I felt very calm after the doctor told me that, and he went and had an MRI after that, and it confirmed that there was zero, nothing on his brain whatsoever. Um, they call this very benign. It's extremely frightening for him. The chance of it happening me. again, there's just because it happened once doesn't mean it'll happen again. Yep. That's what they say. Now, with what led <laughs> up to it, if, if you repeat whatever that was, yeah, I suppose it could happen again. So that's kind of what a big part of what this weekend has been for us is to step back and say, okay, what happened? And we're still not 100% sure, uh, but we're fairly confident we understand at least part of the cause. So they let me take him home and I fed him lunch at home and an hour later, he actually remembered what he had for lunch. So his mind started making memories again. So what they say about this is that you will repeat questions over and over and over, and you will lose that block of time. Your brain just shut down and it will not make memories during that time. He'll never get those memories back. He will not ever remember what happened to him that morning. But as far as everything else, it just by the evening, he asked me what happened just before we went to bed and had me explain the whole thing again. The next morning when he got up, I haven't seen any signs of it whatsoever since that Wednesday morning. They say like 24 hours and it's clear, typically. Um, so, there's just a couple of different things we're going to start doing in our lives. Stop doing. Stop doing. Uh, we've made a lot of little decisions this week to de-stress while we went away by ourselves. And we're standing in the middle of a forest right now. Which is part of the de-stressor that we need to bring into play. This this needs to be a much more frequent experience. Uh, not not that once in a great while and we hurry up and, and get really stressed about doing it kind of thing. I yeah. mean, we, we, our habit needs to be put ourselves somewhere, no concerns, relaxing, no agendas, yeah. And we used to do that. Camping and hiking was our outlet, and we haven't camped or hiked in so long. Yeah. And um, so that's what we're doing. And we've made some changes. We're still absolutely going to Missouri. Not even a question. We're thrilled with it. We're excited about it. But our timeline and the thing, the. Um, importance of having milestones reached before we get there is what's going to drive us so it's okay uh, we're not going to have exciting homesteading things to show you for the next while while <laughs> and but um we actually are building my business in a way that will help not only us but others and um we um so so we're grateful for all the support that we have had during the, this last video. Uh, it was just amazing to know that we still had people out there who cared about us and loved us. And um, hey, never know what can happen to you. From, from my perspective, <laughs> for all of us who 
see ourselves as maybe not being invincible, uh, but we see ourselves as being very strong. Um, this took took my legs right out from under me, essentially. I, I mean, no idea. Uh, I don't feel different now than I did on Monday, um, but it he has happened. had headaches. Uh, yeah, I've, ha I've had, to, but but I mean, as far as emotionally, as far as how I view myself, um, you know, I'm still the same person. But this was a, this was like out of nowhere. This was a total surprise, and you know, it wasn't me saying, "Oh, you know, I can't handle this. I quit." Uh, it was whoosh, quit. <laughs> And, and I came out of it with the same intentions of what I was going to do. You know, it, it, it's not like it swayed me at all. But as I have contemplated it afterwards, I realized that it's scary because I was gone. And I, I was in a place that I've seen a lot of people with dementia be in, where no concept of who they are, what's going on, who's around them, what's coming next, and they're stuck there for the rest of their life. And wow, that that kind of scares me to to think I've been to that place. And I I definitely don't want to go back there. I definitely wouldn't want to stay there. Uh, I and I don't want to do anything that could bring it about again. So even though we don't know exactly what it was, we're pretty sure that it's stress, we are going to turn our life upside down more than we did when we decided to change the way we were eating and the way we were living that, that made our health to where the... Oh, you guys, you have to understand, my daughter's looking at all of his labs and all the results of the CAT scan and the MRI, and she goes, do you realize how healthy he is? I never see labs like this. So we talk about eating right, exercising, and being emotionally well. We just kind of drop the ball on being emotionally well. When I saw the doctor afterwards, I was supposed to go to a you know our, our physician as a follow up, and his prescription for me, <laughs> this this is great. He he wants me to exercise more, you know, vigorously, not just what we've been doing, but really get very vigorous with it and every like three hours or so pause if I'm working on something pause and do some vigorous exercise for a while he wants me to make certain that I'm getting my vitamins and minerals in place like we need to what was the other thing it was only... yoga oh yeah the big one he prescribed yoga morning and night yoga um, I'm like okay these are all things that have been on my list but Okay, it's a prescription. I guess that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but no medications, nothing like that. It's it's the types of things that we know we should be doing. Uh, and this is my first time to have seen this. Yeah, he's actually a he's he's a family practice doctor in yeah, my building. Yeah. And um, and just so I really appreciated his approach. And you know he didn't. You know the medicine is still there and I could tell that was on his mind but as he's listening to me and he's seeing the labs it's like you don't need it what anything. would it be you know <laughs> let, do these things it's gonna help um, I just want to say um, the day after this I went back to work I took him over to my daughter's house he spent the week at my daughter's house so she could grandpa I said <laughs> allow him to be by himself <laughs> And I had a little um, whoo, fall, Melt, party, meltdown. fall the party thing. A total meltdown. Because actually. Not um, a little. Because I realized, because I just kept reliving what had happened. And he. You, you know, I can't even begin to imagine how scary it was for her because she didn't know exactly what was going on and she didn't know when it would end, what the outcome was going to be. That had to have been scary. It was. But. I was a good support to you. <laughs> I'll take and then your word I, for then it. Then I took and fell apart afterwards, outside of where you were at, and that's okay. I'll have to take we're, your word for it on that. <laughs> we're both doing really well right now, and uh, we definitely have made some changes on how our timeline is, and we'll share that as we go along. But we appreciate your support, and take care of yourselves. Give yourself a break.
For all of those of you who have advised us to take it easy, not try to do so much, thank you. We appreciate that. And we are. You were right. We're going to do that more. For those of you who think you're invincible and you can do everything and you don't have to stop, be careful. Thanks, guys.